In this video, we're going to see how the electron beam behaves on the screen when various voltage sources are applied to the Y plates and how different setting on the Y gain and whether the time base is on or off will affect the electron beam. Now let's take a look at the first example where there's no voltage source that you want to measure, nothing connected to the Y plates and the Y gain is set at 0 volt per division so you can imagine the there's no vertical de deflection of the electron beam so you just stay at the center when the time base is off but when you switch on the time base and let's assume the varying voltage has a frequency of 25 hertz you can do your calculation the period will be 1 over f so you have 0 0.04 seconds that means to say it takes the electron beam 0.04 second to switch from left to right. So because it happens so fast, what you see is basically a horizontal line. Perhaps what's more important for us is when we are given the varying voltage frequency, for this case 25 hertz, we should be able to find the period 0.04 seconds here. And it means that it takes 0.04 second to cover from left to right 10 divisions so from here this information we can find actually the time base setting which is 0.004 seconds per division but of course most of the question the time base is given to you and if it's not this is the way to find in the second example here you have a dc input of 1.5 volt connected to the y plates it's like your AAA battery of 1.5 volt and the Y gain in this case is set at 0.5 volt per division. That means to say the electron beam will be deflected upwards but how many division would that be? You just take 1.5 volt divided by 0.5 volt here so it will actually go up by 3 division when the time base is switched off. And when the time base is switched on, it basically will switch from left to right. That's why you have a horizontal line, three division above the axis, x axis here. For the third example over here, you have a DC supply of minus 2.0 volt here. So it's a reverse voltage. And the Y gain is set at one volt per division. So because Let's with reference from the previous example, if it's a positive, it will be deflected upwards. So for this case, it's negative voltage, so it will be deflected downwards. But how many divisions would that be? Because the Y gain is set at 1 volt per division and now it's 2 volt, it will basically go down by 2 divisions. And when the time base is switched on, likewise you switch from left to right, so you have a horizontal line two divisions below the axis here in the next example we have a ac input of peak voltage 20 volt and the voltage has a frequency of 50 hertz so likewise i can find the period for this voltage which is 0 0.02 seconds and the y gain is being set at 5 volt per division so that means to say from the original electron beam at the center, this alternating voltage will increase and go up by 4 divisions because 20 divided by 5, so it will take up 4 divisions upwards and then you move down 4 division and then that's why you will keep on going up and down. That's how you have a vertical line over here when the time base is off. And when the time base is on, you can see that you will actually switch from left to right. So that's why you will get this kind of sine wave on the screen. The next thing we need to understand is how many divisions will one complete wave occupy. So let's assume the time base setting is still the same, which is 0 0.004 second per division. And because this source here, has a period of 0.02 second so if you take 0.02 second divided by 0.004 second per division you will know that this one complete wave will take five division that's why there are five small squares here divisions and that will be one wave and so you have two complete wave on the screen over here 
For the last example here, likewise, you have an alternating current input has a peak voltage of 20 volt, which is the same as previous one. But the only difference now is it has a frequency of 25 hertz, lower frequency. So once again, you can find using t equals 1 over f to find the period, which is 0 0.04 seconds. The y gain is set similar to the previous one, 5 volt per division. So for this case, when the time base is on, you will see the similar vertical line, just like the previous example. And so when the time base is switched on, the electron beam will switch from left to right. That's why you have a sign curve here. So once again, how do you know how many division will it, will it occupy for one complete wave? So you take 0 0.04 seconds divided by the time base setting, 0 0.004 seconds per division. So you will find that it's actually 10 divisions. So one complete wave will actually occupy 10 divisions and there's only one complete wave seen on the screen. So I hope with this video, you'll be able to understand how the various voltage source that's being applied to the Y plates here and the different setting of Y gains and the time base. All these will affect the display of the waveform on the screen.